Hey guys, and welcome back um, to Crafty Mama. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, what we're gonna do today is a weekly calendar spread. Um, so I'm gonna go into detail about how I made this, the lines, everything. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see how I did this weekly calendar spread, go ahead and stick around. All right, we're just going to jump right into it. Um, we're going to add a new page here. And like I've said in my other videos, um, I kind of just do everything from scratch. So I'm, I'm not going to be using a template. So the first thing we're going to add here is our month and our year lines. So you're going to go to text, add a heading, and type month. Um, it's already on my favorite. This is my favorite uh, text here or uh, favorite font. If it's not like a cursive pretty font, that this is the one that I go with. Then we're going to go to elements. And we are going to find a line, which is here. This is a uh, this line is available in the free version if that's the one that you're using. And you're just going to make it smaller. Then you're going to add your year. Go to elements, add your line, turn it black, and make it smaller. Okay, I'm going to scoot these over a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then I'm just going to add a line underneath. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You could just add the box if that's what you want to do. Um, I want to add a line. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to go to our elements. And we're going to search for square. I don't want a shaded box. I just want an outline box. Um, so you're going to pick the one that you want. I'm going to go with this one, which is available in the free version, if that's the one that you're on. And we're just going to stretch it out. And this is creating the, uh, the border. And you want to try to make it as big as possible so you get as much writing room as you possibly can. And I'm going to turn this box um, this color. Okay. Now we're going to add this shaded box. So same thing here. You're still in your square element. And you're just going to pick this shaded box, which is also available in the free version. And you're just going to make it smaller. We're going to turn it pink. This is actually the color code for rose gold, but it just looks pink. And then you're going to lighten it. You're going to make it more transparent so that um, this is supposed to be for the, uh, the date. Okay, now we're going to get the text box. Add a heading and type Monday. And you're just going to place it. Okay. And then I'm going to, you can take a line. Um, I was going to duplicate that one, but that's okay. I'll just do a new one. 
You're going to go back in here. You're going to get your line again. I'm going to turn it black so we can see. And I want my lines to be skinny. So to make the lines skinny, you got to make them smaller and then stretch them out. And you're just going to put it across. Now see how that black line is on top of this pink border? We want that underneath. So you're going to click it, position to back. And now it's underneath the pink border. Okay, now you're going to add your lines to write on. Add a line, turn it black. We're going to make it skinnier. Oops, I moved my, there we go. Okay, and you want to try to make it as evenly spaced as you can. Okay. And then we're going to take this line and we're going to duplicate it. Let's see, how many did I put in here? We have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. And then you're just going to line them up. Canva um, has these markers that pop up. It's a pink dotted line that lets you know, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, when you're doing it, when you should, um, you should definitely be able to see it on your computer when you're doing it, but there's like pink dotted lines or a pink solid line that pop up to let you know that it's um, evenly spaced. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, duplicate, six, Duplicate seven. Now to make this easier on myself, I'm going to group all of these lines. Why does my border keep moving? Okay. I'm going to select all of these lines because and I'm going to group them because I'm going to duplicate this for the rest of the days of the week. And I don't want to line these up all over again. Okay, so I'm going to take this box. I'm going to duplicate it. This is going to be for Tuesday. At this point, you've done all the hard work. Now you're just duplicating and changing it. We're going to duplicate Monday, place it, and type in Tuesday. We're going to take these lines, duplicate those, and we're going to bring them down. This line, this box is in my way. We're going to add another line to put underneath Tuesday here. I didn't add this one to the group. Okay. We're going to take this and we're going to position it backward so that it's underneath the pink border. We're going to take this line. Position. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait to duplicate it. Okay, so we have Wednesday on here. I think I need to move everything up. So I got more room.
Right now I'm just moving everything up so that I have, I kind of ran out of room to add Wednesday. I was just kind of placing stuff quickly. Sorry. I'm going to ungroup these lines and then I want to group, I'm going to move this out of my way. I'm going to group all of these lines together so I don't have to move them one by one. And you're just going to place it so it's lined up with that box in Monday. And we're just going to move this up. And we're going to move that up. And then we're going to, you have to ungroup this one and then group all of them together. Group. And then we're just going to move these up. And we're going to move our border back up. Right now, I'm just kind of cleaning everything up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm just cleaning everything up, kind of positioning it. Okay. So it looks how I want it to. Okay, we're going to take this and we're going to position it to the back. So the pink border is on top. And we're going to stretch it out just a touch. There we go. And then we're going to pull this down. Okay. All right. And now we're going to take this box and we're going to duplicate it because now we're doing the one for Wednesday. We're going to duplicate this text. And you're going to type in Wednesday. And then we're going to take these lines and we're going to duplicate those because I don't, you know, I don't want to do that all over again. Okay. Now, Wednesday's lines are a little bit going to be a little bit shorter. So to fix that, you're just going to ungroup and you're going to select this bottom line and delete it. Okay, and now you're going to take this pink border, select it, and you're going to position the pink border to the front so that it covers all the lines. Okay, now you got your Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So to make everything super easy, all we're going to do is copy this page. Okay, so we have... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we copied the page. And guess what? Let's put the, the border to the back again so we can edit everything else. This is going to be Thursday. You've already done the hard part. Only thing you have to do is fix this bottom part for Saturday and Sunday. This is going to be Friday. Saturday. Okay, and now you're going to just scoot this over. And on this one, you just have to cut it in half like this. So you're going to take your line, let's turn it black so we can see it. And you're going to move your, your mouse to this part right here. This is what turns it like that. And you want it to be at 90 degrees. You see 
how it's 82, 83. You want it to be at 90. That lets you know that it's straight up and down. And then you're just going to place it like that. If you want to make it skinnier, you can. You would just make it smaller. Maybe not that small. You would just make it smaller and then stretch it out. That's how you make it skinnier. Okay, and then we're gonna duplicate this box. And we're gonna duplicate this text. And then you're gonna type Sunday. And then you're gonna highlight your pink border and you're gonna position that to the front so it covers all the lines. Okay, and that we are done. Once you make this first Monday section, you're really just duplicating the rest of it. Super simple, super easy. And that's how you make your uh, weekly calendar spread. Um, the next video, I'm going to do a monthly calendar spread for you. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, go ahead and leave me a comment. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope you're staying safe. Um, if you have any um, specific designs or anything you want me to show you within Canva, definitely let me know and I'll get that out for you. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe.